there is no apps without forms and in our app we need those forms in sign in and sign up and edit profile and creating orders so how to handle the forms in easy way that's what are gonna taught you in this lesson in this lesson you're gonna learn how to handle forms like a professional we're gonna use this wonderful library react hook form if you open the npm of this the npm pay page of this library you're gonna notice that there's about 500 millions of weekly downloads because this library is wonderful and you can use it with react js and react native tool now let's go to our code and to install this library react hook form we have here in our app it's a basic component let's open our terminal yarn add react hook form and let's install it after we install it don't forget if you are using android the task is done but if you are using ios you need you need to open the ios folder and run bot install and after the bot install you need to, to rerun your app again Now after we if we have installed our package and our bots, let's type our code. First, let's import our two very important components. Import, use, form, and controller. I'm gonna tell you how to use them later from React Hook Form okay let's create the ui quickly let's give this view a style of styles dot container and let's go to this container let's give it a felix one justify content of center align items center to center all of our components okay Okay, let's replace this text with react hook form example and react native. Okay, let's create our text input and style it. Text input, a placeholder is gonna be enter your name. And let's give it styling style of styles dot input. Let's go down here and add the input style. Let's give it a border width of one, border radius of ten, bedding of ten, width ninety percent, margin top. 18 border color gray that's our input now that's our text input you can use it and you can type here whatever you want okay let's now use our react hook form to control this input and also to handle errors and to handle state in easy way okay how to do this now let's use react hook form and make this text input controlled okay let's first get some variables from this wonderful hook use let's destruct this hook and get those three things first the control this control as a property holds the form control object which manage the state of this text input and also to manage his validation rules you can think about it it's something like a connection between the input and the, the form state okay so that's the control property the second property is handle submit handle submit is a function 
provided by React Hook form and it's used to handle the form submissions. I mean when we click the button, okay? Third, let's import form state and this property is a property for accessing the state of the input, okay, of the text input, including the error. So we can take from it the errors. Those are the errors of those text input because we're gonna have errors, for example, if we just type invalid email or invalid password, okay, as you're gonna see later. Now we need to wrap this text input component inside a controller. I know that's the that's not the best code because we need to separate this code inside files. Don't worry, we're gonna do this in next lesson. We're gonna create a custom controlled text input, but let me just give you this in this lesson the idea of this React hook form and how to use it. Okay, so now that's our controller. Inside it, we're gonna pass this property of control. Control equals to control. Okay, to control our input. Second property is the render. You can render here a text input, you can render here a radio button, whatever you want. And in this lesson, we're gonna handle the text input, later, we're gonna handle the radio button and checkboxes, dates. And so on. So in this render, we're gonna return our text input. So let's take this text input here. Let's just format our code like this. Okay. And inside this render, we're gonna pass or destruct some important property. We're gonna destruct from the field. This field is a property provided by React hook form and this property it's about an object this object contains the event handlers the event handlers like what like for example on change on clear and the value the value of this text input and we're going to pass those those properties to our text input. So here, the value equals to the value we're gonna take here from React Talk form because we are connecting our text input with our controller. On floor, please, if you don't understand me, don't worry. This lesson is very easy, but it's something new to you, so don't worry about it. On change equals to on change, or let's make this on change text equals to on change we're gonna just connect our native text input properties of on plur on change and the value with the field object property from react hook form to make this text input controlled okay let's format our code and press save Oops, we got here an error. Why we got here an error? I'm happy to face this error with you to teach you how to resolve it. Any controller must have a property, property called name. Without this property, you're gonna have this error. This is very important property because you have to give it a name to make it a key different with from other inputs because here, in this lesson, we're gonna use three inputs. Input for name, input for email, input, input for password. So let's give every one of them a name. Let's make this the name of user name. And let's press save. Now the error is gone. That was our input, our first input controller. You can create a button here to create a test title with submit on press is gonna be handle submit handle submit handle submit is this function here we import we destructed from use form hook 
okay and inside this function we're gonna pass our function for example let's create it here const submit equals to let's take our data we give we take this data from the handle submit and let's just console.log it console.log the data and let's pass the submit here here and let's press save what we've done here when we unpress this button we've just connect this button with the data from use form or react hook form because this handle submit is a function we take it from this hook to connect the those inputs with this button and inside this function we're gonna pass our main function you can type any function that you want here and just don't forget to give it this parameter okay let's open our log and see if we just submit here username is undefined let's type anything for example a a a a and press submit log username is a a a let's create another input for email okay let's just take a copy of this just a copy of this and let's change something and let's change things here let's make this email okay let's make this enter your email okay and that's it look easy isn't it now we have here uh, an input for username and an import for email and let's press submit when we submit look we have here a username and email we need to add some rules to email for example this is not a valid email we want to add errors here because if we just i type invalid email an error appear here okay how to add errors to our controller that's very easy i'm gonna tell you here in username we want to make it required so just inside here this controller component just type rules and inside this rules you can you have here a lot of things like depth max max length min min length pattern if you want to use um, regular expression we want to make it required so just make it required true and let's make it min length of five okay and let's press save now if we just remove this and press submit we didn't submit it because we have here an error to show you the error let me just show you the error uh, we're gonna just take this errors object okay errors dot name sorry dot username dot username and if we have error dot username that's the name of the controller just render a text inside text just type name as required okay let's give this text some styling styles dot styles dot text error and let's define this style down here let's just give it the color of red color of red and let's press save look name is required you have to add the name here without the name you're gonna face this error name is required and you cannot log it here look if we just press submit we have we don't have here anything let me replace this console.log with alert to make things clear to you alert dot alert json dot stringify the data because this this data is an object we want to stringify it so if we just add a name here and press submit we have here the username and the email but if we don't have anything here and press submit this function will not trigger it because we have here an error okay let's add the error to an email too so here in our controller let's add rules what is the rules of email let's make it 
required is true and let's add a pattern to it what is the pattern it's a regular expression you can take it from the internet or whatever you want this regular expression to make a valid email it's not the best regular expression but it's just for now okay and let's press save and now let's try to submit oops we don't have here an error so we need to add this text like here and let's copy it and paste it here and let's add the error for the email and let's make this enter a valid email it is just this text it's just an error message like the, like above here so now here when we add a valid email at gmail.com now we don't have your error and his na this name is required when we add a name and press submit now everything is work perfectly we can get the values of our inputs it was a uh, a little bit hard lesson don't worry in next lesson we're gonna separate this code we're gonna create a custom form input or a custom text input with his error message and we're gonna use yup resolver to handle errors we don't need to use this rules there is another way better than this using yup okay so don't miss the next lesson and see you later thanks for watching and don't forget subscribe and the like button if you like this video.